You think you know command line tools? Think again. You have never seen anything like this before. This is Amazon QCLI. It's a new AI assistant which embeds into your terminal. This is not just another autocomplete. It's like a conversation partner that actually gets what you are trying to do. And I'm about to show you five mind-blowing use cases that this tool will transform how you work with AWS or with just your terminal. It makes complex tasks ridiculously simple. Once you get used to Amazon Q, you are not going to go back to the old way of doing things. Before we dive in, huge thanks to Amazon for sponsoring this video. First up, instant project scaffolding. We have all been there. You have a great idea, you are fired to stop, but first you have to suffer with all this setup ceremony. Create a directory, call git init, set up a virtual environment, call pip install, a dozen of dependencies, write the same hello world boilerplate, a total momentum killer. It is like tedious and repetitive. And if you mess up one thing, you are not building your vision, you are just debugging your setup. How many times have you Googled the command to create a Python virtual environment? It's not that it's hard, it's just a friction. It's like tax on your creativity. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna start new session by executing QChat. Now, I'm gonna ask in plain English to do all the boring work for me. Scaffold a new backend service using Python and FastAPI. Initialize a Git repository, create a virtual environment, install FastAPI and UVCorn, and generate a basic main.py with a single endpoint that returns a JSON message. Then create a readme.md file with setup instructions. Let's hit the enter. Now, it starts talking to me in the terminal and tells me what it is going to do. And it also asks me permission to allow this. I can type Y to allow this one time or just T, which means I trust this and it's gonna go ahead and do a couple of things for me. With our approval, it creates a new directory, it initializes Git repository, creates a virtual environment, then activates it and installs FastAPI and UVCorn. It writes clean main.py file and it even generates genuinely helpful markdown file, which explains how to get the project up and running. The application is fully working, you can see the result in browser and it even comes with Swagger documentation. In just seconds, we have fully functional, ready to run application all from a conversational prompt. This is not about saving a few minutes, it is about staying in that creative flow. It is the difference between an idea becoming a project or fizzling out because of setup fatigue. This completely changes the starting line for everything you build. Command line is incredibly powerful, but let's be honest, it's also incredibly complex. Whether it's AWS CLI with thousands of options, or basic Linux commands such as find or tar, it is really hard to remember all the things they offer. Our lives are painful cycle. Try a command, get an error, Google it, find a stack overflow post. Now we copy and paste error into ChatGPT or Cloud D and try again. It's a horrible way to work. Need to find the files matching specific pattern, trying to configure a specific AWS setting, that constant back and forth switching between your terminal and your browser is a total momentum killer. This is where Amazon Q doesn't just help, it solves the problem. Let's try something notoriously painful, a multi-step find and delete operation. We type Q translate and provide human friendly text. Find all video files in my videos folder in my home directory, which are larger than one gigabyte and delete them. So here's the command. We can directly execute that command or edit the command or regenerate the answer. Let's see another example. Find all Git branches that are merged to main in remote and delete them locally. This is something I typically use all the time I need and I cannot remember it, so I Google or ask ChatGPT every time I need this comment. Now, I don't have to do this anymore. I can just ask Q and execute this immediately from the directory or I can edit if I want. All right, we have built the app and deployed it. 
And now we have every developer's favorite activity and that's troubleshooting. I'm just kidding. I know we hate this process, but still we have to do this. When something breaks in the cloud, the traditional workflow is a nightmare. You are juggling tabs for CloudWatch logs, the ECS console, VPS settings, you name it. You are trying to correlate timestamps across a sea of logs hunting for that one error message that explains everything. It can take hours and it's a massive cognitive load. Let's take a common and painful scenario. An ECS task is failing to start. It's just flapping. It starts, dies, restarts and dies again. Why? Bad container image, wrong security group, missing IAM permissions. Instead of starting that manual heart, watch this. I will start a chat. QChat. My ECS task in the web prod cluster is failing to start. Can you help me diagnose the problem? This is where the magic happens. Amazon Q becomes your troubleshooting partner because it's integrated with your AWS environment. It can help you connect the dots. It can analyze logs from relevant services like CloudWatch and ECS. It doesn't just dump raw logs on you. It helps correlate the information and uses its reasoning to point you toward the root cause. A few moments later, it might come back to you with something like, I have analyzed the logs and it looks like the application container is exiting because it cannot connect to the database. It seems the task security group is missing an outbound rule on port 5432 for your RDS instances security group. And that would be awesome. And it does not stop here. It will suggest the fix and can even generate the exact AWS CLI command to update the security group for you. You state the problem and your AI assistant helps you investigate, diagnose and solve it. This can shrink troubleshooting time from hours down to minutes. If you're finding this tool as cool as I am and you want to stay on top of the latest AI news, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button. It also helps the channel out and I can guarantee you, you are not going to miss my next video. The fourth mind blowing use case is a little bit subtle, but you will feel the impact in every second you are inside terminal. I'm talking about context aware command suggestions. Most autocomplete tools are pretty basic. They suggest things based on the comment history or a static list of comments. Q is a different. It looks at your context, the directory you are in, the type of the project you are using to give you genuinely smart suggestions. How many times have you typed npm run and then had to pause, open your package.json to find the exact script name? Was it dev, start or serve? Watch this. I'm in my Laravel project and I executed npm run and it knows that I have two commands, build and dev. And then I can easily choose whichever I want. It gets even better. Let's say I'm working a git and I need to check out to a different branch. So I type git checkout and look at this. Now it suggests me all the available branches I have in my repository. And this is one of the most favorite thing in this autocomplete. If I type git add, it shows me the files which have been added or modified recently. I have one new file in my project, newfile.txt, and it is shown at the top of the list. This works for the whole suite of popular CLI tools like Docker, AWS SDKs, and more. It turns your command line from a blank space into an interactive agent. Finally, use case number five, your instant mentor for code and best practices. Let's be real, huge part of our job is to learn on the fly. You're constantly bumping into new code bases, new libraries, and new AWS services. The old way to learn is to stop everything, open a browser and wade through pages of documentations. Imagine you're doing a code review and found out a complex Python function you don't understand. Or you need to use Butter 3 SDK to upload a file to S3 but can't remember the exact method. Instead of leaving your workflow, just ask Q. I've got a Python project here and a file inside 
and I'm going to ask to Amazon Q, can you explain what the read captions function in translate captions.py file does? So here's an overview. The function is part of a larger script that translates captions from English to Hindi using OpenAI's API. But if you want more details, we can find everything here. Reads and parses caption subtitle files to extract timestamps and text context, opens specific file with UTF-8 encoding, and so on. Now, let's see another example. Let's type the following prompt. Show me how to use Bota3 in Python to upload a local file named data.csv to an S3 bucket named analytics uploads. Also, include error handling. And it gave us the code, which we can simply copy and paste in our project, or we can ask Q to create new file or new function in our project and put that code inside there. And this is not just a snippet. It's a lesson in best practices delivered right where we work. This ability accelerates onboarding and crashes the learning curve for any new tech you need to pick up. And here it is, five incredible ways Amazon QCLI can change your life. We have seen how it can build a project from a sentence, translate English into flawless shell commands, act as your AI partner in troubleshooting, anticipate your next move in the terminal, and serve as on-demand AI mentor. This is more than just easier terminal tool. It is a fundamental shift how developers interact with their terminal tools. It is spending less time on a syntax and more time on building and focusing on your goals. What other wild use cases can you come up with AI terminal tool like Amazon QCLI? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.